John, this true laser 5030, I want to really talk about the technology here from Trump, because I know it's some of the, the points that you have highlighted to me. So maybe you could do that for our audience, tell them some of the reasons that engineers are investing in this technology and what's good about it. Okay, this is the true laser 5030 solid state disc with fiber delivery system. The reason I emphasize that is the laser source is a disc. It is not a traditional fiber optic that you will find in all, well, in all a range of other suppliers. And how many people use that sort of technology? Well, the true disc has been along for quite some time. Um, we used it, I would say, a good 15 years ago for laser welding before the beam quality became good enough for 2D cutting. So we have a very, very good history of using the disc for you know, production. It then came to the market in about 2012. We rolled it out to the 5 Series at 3 kilowatts. And today you can buy this machine in a format of 8 kilowatts. So the growth has been pretty fast. So what, what, what value does the disc add? How does it, what, what's the benefit? Okay. The disc is very stable. There are no secondary parts, there are no moving parts. It's fully maintenance free and is not susceptible to back reflection, which is one of the main issues when cutting copper, brass and high reflective aluminiums. Okay, now, te now tell us about the, the markets that these machines are going into because I think one of the demonstrations we've seen before is the 40 mil stainless cut that you can do with this machine, which you've even said yourself isn't something everybody's going to be doing, but what it does do is demonstrate the capability of this technology from Trump, correct? Absolutely. Um, we have a function called bright line fiber. So what that allows us to do is basically change the width of the kerf. So from a small kerf width to a larger kerf width, that allows you to get thicker materials out without the old hammering through of the sheet. So with the bright line functionality, we can also demonstrate the range and thicknesses of materials that this can handle. And, and what, what are those ranges of thickness and what are the materials that you can use and productively on this type of machine? Well, all the materials you're, you will find a laser cutting company supplying. So mild steel, stainless, aluminiums. So you're 25 in aluminium, 25 in mild steel. But as we've seen here on one of the samples, we can happily go up to 40 mil on stainless, copper and brass, not a problem. And you do have a lot of success with this machine. You've sold a lot of them, haven't you, in the UK? Why do you think that is? Why are Trump selling a lot of true laser machines with the Brightline fiber? Cut quality. Basically, there was always the argument of CO2 versus uh, fiber. And the Brightline technology has now brought the differential in cut quality a lot closer. So if you wanted a machine to cut from one mil to 25 mil on mild steel with excellent cut quality, this machine is capable and comparable to the CO2. If you were cutting 10 mil stainless to 25 mil stainless and your cut quality was acceptable to your customer range, this machine will do that also. So it's a, it's a mindset change. So you've opened up new markets and new opportunities to Trump as a result of what you can deliver on this machine. Well, absolutely. The traditional CO2 user is looking at the cut quality across the range of materials. Any makeup, one sheet of 25 mil stainless, you know, every other month. The range of materials he generally cuts could be between 5 and 15. So the fibre laser with its low running costs, maintenance free and high production is a perfect fit. And I've got to ask you, John, what have you got in your hands here? Because I know this is a, a, a latest innovation as well from Trump. Thank you for asking that question, Paul. Uh, this is in relation to the 5038 kilowatt and this is our new nozzle design. The nozzle I have in my right hand is a high speed eco functionality. There is a lot of emphasis in the marketplace on nitrogen usage. What the nozzle on the right hand side does is compress the nozzle gas consumption locally and reduces gas consumption by 70% and increases your output over a certain range of materials by as much as 100%. So there is a huge innovation to come and see at open house when cutting with nitrogen on stainless steel and mild steel with Trump. Are you the only, are you the only ones practicing this? We are indeed. I think there's quite a few patents on this piece of technology and it was only recently released at Intec in Germany about four weeks ago. So it's new technology hot off the press. Economical and efficient, two words. It goes hand in hand with a solid state disc. Less gas, more parts per hour, cheaper to your customer and end user. And you're, an, you're an area sales manager, correct, for, for Trump? Allegedly, yes, I am indeed. So, so you're, you're, you're traveling around engineering companies, fabricators, la laser cutters. Is there a lot of people that don't understand that your machines are capable of, of you know, what we're talking about here and now and don't even explore this as an option and they go straight for a CO2, for example? I think our jobs as area sales managers now is more about the consultancy of what the customer is trying to do. Um, we're for, I mean, we have an entry-level fiber machine at two kilowatts. So we have a huge range where customers will say, okay, I had a five kilowatt CO2, have you got a five kilowatt fiber? 
and it may be for different reasons other than productivity. So our jobs now seem to be a lot more involved in giving you a consult consultation period really about this is the cut quality you can achieve on your materials, these are the machines that we can offer. What would you like, Mr. Customer? So there's, there's a lot more to discuss nowadays rather than just one in, one out. Yeah, well, this machine can do much broader applications. From the application range is still there between the CO2 and fibre. Don't, don't let the fibre take you off in a direction you don't really want to go. It's about productivity and cut quality. I would say that the definition and cut quality also is more geared towards your stainless and aluminium. If you want a mirror finish, CO2 is still king on the thick end. But if you're looking for a general job shop where the cut quality is not a finished product or the customer is happy with that cut quality, this machine will do it all for you. We always look to learn things from doing our videos and I think I have today, so thank you, John. Not a problem at all. Good to speak to you.